Jesus. Damn, it's core. It's core, what? Uh, okay. Nailed it, Cappy. Woo! Oh, it's this lady. I remember her. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. <laughs> no. Stay safe. No. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. Locked up tight. Designates the facility of prison for the detainment of bearers. Train a Kuza beast. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the perusal of the aforementioned purpose. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. There's a monster here. I could have gathered that. No sign of any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. Oh, my God. 
I liked being halfway through with that fight and then seeing Jill run in. Like, oh, here I am! I'm like, where have you been? Oh, wait, there was something over here. The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavily, heavy casualties on the enemy. In exercises conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. As such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed instead that the bearer captives be employed in order to draw into the enemy's focus. And then the beast be then driven into the fray in order to achieve a maximum benefit with minimal loss of loot or lives. Minimal loss of loot or lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bears assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, uh, suggesting that the bears might even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bearers no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Nothing but a Kashyyyk down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Yeah, I did the same. Downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> a survivor. And she sounds close. Afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course they were. Thanks, the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadwick send you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? You wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. Uh, I was just gonna run. <laughs> it's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. Hi. Are you Chadwick? <laughs> a. <laughs> Lame. Behemoth should be S. The beast will wreak havoc if it ever leaves the prison. Can't let that happen. Too slow. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. <gasps> oh, 
No. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Bitch, get out of here. You off then? Wrong person. <laughs> Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. You earned this. All done? Apparently that's the last one. <laughs> what up, nerd? Give me hunts. The Masterless Marauder. S rank. Yep. We have no idea where it is. Other than it's in Walud. 
Okay. It's a beast in Walud. Okay. Well, we'll go looking for it in a bit. I still have other quests over here, so maybe... Maybe... That's where we just were. I bought something over there. Bought something here. Bought something here. Oh. Yeah, because oh, right I, I, I fought something in Critten Hollow already. So it's probably, it could be here. Could be on the other side of the Southern Gate. I haven't fought anything there yet. And it could be in the bra somewhere. All right, let's let's take a look around. I think I found it. If only I had looked. Is this an S-ranked behemoth? Yeah. Let's go! Kick my ass! Behemoth King, it's the guy! It's the guy! Fuck yeah, dude! I'm not going to go on this guard, dogs. Oh, a specimen it is, too.
Hey, the last orc elk of my name. <laughs> no match for you, eh, Torgal? <laughs> Torgal's like, I got him! Shake it off, Torgal. <laughs> The Final Fantasy game is not complete until the Behemoth King has been slain. I was like, Behemoth King, come on! <laughs> Behemoth King's been like a, a staple in the game since like Final Fantasy V. Yeah. It's well, been in like, there for a long time. I was like, I know he's there. He's skipped a game here or there, but he's in most of them. I swear to God, Matt, if the dog dies in the end, I'll never watch you play this game again. Well, you wouldn't have to, because it's like... I mean, I'll play the game again, but... If, the entire village looks yeah, abandoned. maybe not on stream. No. Which house would a bookworm live in? That's exactly the <clears throat> the feeling I had when they were advertising the movie Marley and Me. And they were all like, look at this happy family. They adopt a dog and it's a little puppy. And here it is when it's like when they have a baby and the puppy's like three years old. And now they have like the dog is full grown. And then they show the adults is older. And I'm like, fuck you. I'm not watching that movie because I know exactly how that movie ends. The dog dies at the end. I'm not going to watch that movie. You still haven't watched that movie either? No, fuck that movie. I'm sure it's a good, entertaining movie, but fuck that movie, I'm not watching it. You can't, you can't make me. Uh, training report. This is a Royal Army logbook. Did he take this from the local barracks? Complete botany of Banes? <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. Folklorists. Yeah, that's a lot of reading. From a distance, I found it. It's also a lot of reading. This is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Yeah, yeah, you can have this book. You read it. I know you're going to talk to me for Leaving 40 so minutes. so soon, stranger. We've been watching you. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. No. Leave it in our care and return to your life. No. Your care? Do you mean to burn it? Or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Oh! This guy didn't watch me kill the Behemoth King just now? Let's see, shall we?
Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. I like how he says, you can keep the book like he could stop me. Yeah. Damn it. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. I'll allow you to keep the book for now. And it's like, fuck you, bitch! I'll kill your entire family! I mean, reasonable. <sighs> So did I. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one to have read Sphincter, yeah. Akashic Sphincter. I was all like, ah, my bubble! It's all blue and ashy. Bro, she frozen. That was sick. I let him live.
This must be the orphanage. Hopefully the registry is still here. I forgot why I'm here or who I'm here for, but let's go looking. I had been torturing my own flesh and blood. Huh. This reads like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Are you dead? I guess that's why he said all the ghosts of his, like, his family and all the people he tortured have been torturing him. Good. A forked white tree. This must be the place. Could he really be buried here? something hidden among the roots. Let's see. If he was the last one, how was he buried here? Well, he was buried. Yeah, yeah, okay. This must be the registry. Hans, Alfred, Franz, Paulina, Bruno, Joanna, Reinhardt, Martha, Lothar, Diedrich. Oh, succumbed to conditioning. Lithification. I don't know what that is. Ema emaciation. Disciplined for attempting to fly to for attempting flight. He killed them for trying to run away. Lithification. Mom's guessing turned to stone? Yeah, because it's lithification of rocks and stones. So many names. Hmm. This place was a slaughterhouse. Yeah, because the, the bearers misery? slowly petrify. Yeah. <laughs> It was only a matter of time, I suppose. Oh. This place is cursed.
Lithification is probably how you get stones like sandstone, as opposed to uh, as opposed to like granite and shit like that. I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. Yes. In medicine, lith lithotripsy is the method of breaking up kidney stones with sound waves. So is it just like putting headphones uh, around you and like playing heavy metal music for a while? That'd be dope. <laughs> it's definitely not what that means. I may. The bearer registry. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning. Never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Honor their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you, Sid. I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering. And in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity. Were it not for you. Thank you. Much the same, actually. It's probably more like ultrasound or something, but like, like a s ultra, super high pitched, like, concentrated. Yeah, they just get a bunch of like mice and rats and rodents to like scream all at the same time. The real question is what is Final Fantasy 16 missing for Matt? Faster dialogue. Faster dialogue, yeah. And not like triple speed or anything, just like 25 to 35 percent faster dialogue. Vivian. More hunts. I found <laughs> it. The book you lost. I could do like twice as many hunts, dude. I like hunts. You... you found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. 
I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these... executors. And I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie... That lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. I think her cadence in her speech is much better. She just talks a little too much. She's a little too flowery, but the speed at which she, she says her lines seems much more reasonable. Have you been holding out on me? He's like, well, all side quests are done, so here's your hunts. The Wailing Banshee. Garnick and Walud. Garnick. Okay. Where's that? Right here. Ugh! 
Hello? Wailing Banshee? Oh my god. Okay. It's a Garuda! Harmon's madness lives on. I just got an achievement that said clear the hunt board. <laughs> no! I'm done with hunts. Rest in peace. Oh well. They were only 32? How'd you know how old she was? Only missing two. Yes. I can't hear 
you say to me? It doesn't matter. Okay. Feels like a lifetime ago, it was a lifetime ago, that afternoon on Man's Hill was our very first adventure, but somehow I knew even then that it would have been our last. I will never forget that day when the simplest fact that you have not that you have not either fills my heart with joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Since the moment we first met, you have always been an important part of me, the half that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light. When I am lost, you are my guiding star. You are just what I need. You are all that I need. You are the greatest gift. Really? Yeah, because it says, I will never forget that day. The fact that you not either fills my heart with a so fierce I cannot describe it. That sentence really tripped you up because you didn't. Oh. <laughs> I also can't read. <laughs> That's part of the thing. <laughs> It occurs to me that a single word of thanks does not nearly suffice to express my gratitude gratitude for reuniting me with from a distance, although that's all I needed. The tome made me who I am today, and yet I thought I should never set eyes upon it again. That those who took it from me had forever robbed me of a part of myself. But now I am whole again, thanks to you. I regret that I can only fill the gaps in your knowledge and not the holes in your soul. For which reason I shall ever be in your debt. God! <laughs> Master Clive, I am aware there are of much greater import which demand your attention, but should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask a single favor concerning His Highness Prince Dion. Well, it's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and stop here for tonight, everybody. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow, we will come back, finish that last side quest, apparently. And then start the uh, the first DLC, Rising Tide. No. Echoes of the Fallen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one Karen has for me, it's, which is supposed to be Echoes of the Fallen. So we will do that. 